Okay guys, we seem to be having problems getting a good signal in here for streaming, so I'm just going to record this and I can answer questions uh, afterwards. Um, yeah, as I said, we've got the uh, the Xeno, the BTU, the Grudge Hybrid, the Mastermind Strategy, uh, as well as my Fanatic and my Wine Urethane Rhino out today. Uh, reason I'm out is I'm working on learning to relax my hand. Uh, the last little bit I've picked up uh, um, a bit of a uh, grabbing it on the bottom of my shot, and uh, just working on uh, my swing alignment. Had a, a little bit of trouble last night when I was bowling, so uh, I just want to make sure I didn't tweak my swing at all. I want to keep things nice and loose. And uh, I thought it would answer some questions for you guys and let you know, um, you know, we're not perfect showing you some behind the scenes here. So uh, I'm going to throw some shots so you guys can see. I'm going to start off with the Xeno. That shot there, I felt myself grab it a little bit at the bottom, um, just at the point of release. I could feel me pull my arm across a little bit, so. Gotta work on that, just relaxing things. Okay, I'm gonna try switching over to the uh, the strategy on the right lane. Um, they weren't dressed this morning, so they're a little burnt. And the Zeno is just a little bit too much ball for the right lane, so I'm just gonna switch it over quick. I think you can see I forced that one at the top of my swing a little bit, threw my balance off. Got an okay reaction, but we're not looking for strikes, we're looking for better form today.
Since humid is a swimming pool over here, just wiping it off all over the place. That one felt a lot better off my hand. Relaxed my arm, didn't pull up on it uh, that I felt when I got to the bottom of the swing. Um, got a good carry too, so I'll give one more, one more throw with that uh, strategy. Yeah, that one felt really good. Um, pulled up a little bit on it just as I exited my fingers. Um, but it felt like I was driving a little more forward than off the side, uh, which means it could carry that a little bit better. Um, of course, the house shot's really pretty easy to score on, so, you know, that would have probably been a solid 10 for me on a sport pattern or worse. But for right now, the feeling was very good, so. Uh, next, I'm gonna move into the uh, Grudge Hybrid. I really like the shape of that layout with that uh, cover stock. Cover stock being 60 to 70% of the actual motion of the ball. Um, I like the way that that one stays really clean in the front for me, um, but it's very, very strong at the break point. Um, I can, I'm a little more relaxed throwing it because I know no matter how hard I throw it, it can come back from just about anywhere. Um, so I'm a fan of it. One of the other things I kind of like about it is the color scheme on it. I can tell where the ball revs up and flips um, because it goes from like a an end over end tumble and almost like a looking like a wagon wheel on the side. So uh, it allows me to kind of read how the ball's doing, which I like a lot. Now the, uh, the um, strategy that I was throwing first and the uh, hybrid guru that I was throwing, a little different layouts. Um, the strategy tends to rev up a little longer down the lane for me, a little farther down, as a little more angular. I find it pretty fast response. I know it's not supposed to be super fast, but uh, I really like it. Um, it gives me two very different looks depending on if I need the ball to get down and be snappier, more uh, more of a heavy roll. Uh, now I'm gonna go to the Fanatic.
automatic, high RG pearl. Uh, definitely find it very angular down lane. Um, that's why we told it the way we did so we could take advantage of that eye block uh, and really get it to uh, finish hard. Uh, it's kind of my game three ball uh, when we do a four game sport league. Uh, the first two I'll use something strong but low flare to kind of control the lane. Once I uh, have something burned up, I go to something high RG uh, to get through the heads, bounce it off the uh, dry down lane and uh, hook it around. I really like this ball when they start to get uh, burned up or they come over under. Now last night we had a weird condition where we had one lane that got squirty right from the pocket where uh, if you played inside and try to just get it to the head pin if you cross the three threshold at around uh, 15 the ball would actually scoop through there was like a big puddle of oil or something there. Um, and I ended up moving deeper playing this ball around it. Uh, didn't score as well as I would have liked, but it was the only ball that actually finished to the pocket because of where that oil was sitting, because it's so angular. I can throw it out and let it roar back. There goes my streak at nine. Um, but uh, that was a, just a terrible shot. I got it inside on my arm a little bit, got around the side of it, lofted it. I did a lot of things wrong there. Um, got lucky to get back in the pocket. That was a house shot hit. So uh, I'm gonna throw one more with this, and then I'll throw a couple with the BTU. thing I love about the BTU the most, when I'm throwing it, normal urethane moves in the first 25 feet and then just kind of rolls. Um, your hybrid urethane, uh, like a pitch black or a pitch blue, gets a little bit farther down but still has a very round shape. 
Um, and it's still pretty early. This ball, it feels like throwing a reactive ball, um, but it doesn't really uh, overreact when they get burned up. Um, like around here, because we use uh, uh, not very many units in our pattern, the, the heads dry out really quick, and I can go to this ball, and I can play it all night in the same spot. awful shot. Uh, turned my hand rather than letting it roll off. I was I was another house shot hit. Lucky to just leave four pin. We're going into the 10th frame. Let's just finish this game off and uh, I'll sign off. Alright, bad last shot there, but uh, not bad, 257, score doesn't mean anything on a shot like this though. Uh, I hope you guys liked seeing uh, what I was throwing, how I was throwing, what I was thinking about, and uh, we'll see you guys lane side. <laughs>